I'm going to show you how to add a Google Chrome extension called Immersive Reader to help you read or translate any text, any online text that you want. First, open up your browser and search Chrome Web Store. Enter. Click the first web link. And this is the Chrome Web Store. On the top left box where it says search the store, type immersive reader. Enter. So the first extension called Use Immersive Reader on Website is the extension that you want to download. So click the blue button that says Add to Chrome. And click again, Add Extension. So you will notice that you have a new icon, the black and white immersive reader icon to the right of your address bar. If you want to pin it permanently to your Chrome browser, click the puzzle icon one more time, find the immersive reader icon, and make sure this pin is in blue color. Now you have the Immersive Reader icon saved in your web browser. Next, you will go to any website that you would like to help you read. I'm going to, for example, I'm going to, I want to read about an animal book. I'm going to search that animal book. There you go. Right. So let's say I want to read this page. Click on a page that you would like to read. Next, you will highlight the text that you would like to read. So by left click, clicking left, highlight the paragraph right click on the paragraph and then you will see a menu. Now click help me read this. This will launch and open the immersive reader program on your browser. There are lots of helpful features on for this add on, but I'm going to introduce a few tools in this video. First of all is this read aloud feature on the very bottom in green. This is a play button. Once you click that. Animals smooth and spiky, fast, fast and slow, slow, hop and waddle through the 200 plus pages of. So you can play to have the text read aloud to you. You can click the voice setting to change the pace and the voice of the read aloud of the speaker. If you go closer to the turtle, the Vicaldicott Honor Artist Steve Jenkins, it makes reading speed slower. If you go closer to the rabbit, Jenkins's most impressive nonfiction offering yet. Sections such as animal senses, animal extremes, and the it makes the reading go very fast. You can also choose a female or male voice. The story of life burst with fascinating facts and infographic. Let me change the speed to right here. Infographics. If you want to study how to say one word at a time, you can click on each word and listen to each word. Buffs. Breath breathlessly. And it will help you sound the word out. Jenkins. For some words, they also have visuals like this. 
to help you understand it. Next, you can go to text preferences by clicking the double A icon. Here, you can adjust the text size. You can make the text go smaller or bigger. You can all also change the font or change the background color to make it easier for you to read. Next, if you click the middle icon, this is grammar options icon with the lines. It will help you identify the syllables, the different sounds of each word, and the parts of speech. Noun, verbs, adjective, and adverbs if you're studying these in your English classes. The most important feature is the reading preference feature. This is a feature that I love the most. This is where you can translate a word or the whole document to your home language. So first, you will go to translate. Click choose a language and find your desired home language. I'm going to translate it into Spanish. By clicking over here and turning this switch on to green, you will see translations by word. As you can see, if I hover over each word and click on the word, you see the English word. More. And the word translated into Spanish. Most. Also visual support as well. If you would like for the whole document to be translated, Click this button and make that green next to document. And you will see translation of everything, your whole paragraph into your desired language. And now my paragraph is in Spanish. And if I click on each word, it gives me the English translation. If you want to go back to the original article, you're going to click the little arrow on the top left and it will let you go back to the original article. So with this, you can choose any text. It could be a word, a paragraph, or the whole article. It's up to you. So for example, if I want to translate only the title of this article, I will highlight the title, right click, click help me read this, and it will launch the immersive reader for me. I hope this helps you read and understand any articles that your teachers assign you and help you understand and learn English better.